Hey guys, welcome back to Scrap Metal Garage. Um, on this episode, I'm going to be doing lots of uh, loose ends, tidying up, and possibly putting the brakes if I get a hand later on, because I'm all by myself. Alright, let's get to it. Right, this morning I've just uh, finished off that wheel and I got carried away with just painting. Well, I missed all that, but I'm starting to paint crap black under here. Uh, first up, I'm going to drain the diff and replace it with some gear oil. I uh, went did the right thing and got the cheapest one on Marketplace. Uh, specs call for an 80W140, so I'm going to go 85W140. And that'll be sick. Yeah, I mean, 30 bucks rather than paying like 75. So it'll be fine. All right, uh, you have to take the plate off. You got the drain plug here, and you fill it up to the top of the filler. So let's start by trying to get this one off. Let's see if it doesn't bloody round it as well, like everything else. Alrighty, let's. Let's see if I can get this off. Hmm, already feels like it's going around. Yep. Yeah. Bloody round it already. So annoying. Um, what am I using? Half inch, like I thought. Thirteen will be bigger. Thirteen will be more. Twelve. <laughs> All right. I guess it's a twelve. <sighs> All right. I'll be back with the right tools. Alright, just have that on. Woohoo, success. Have to smash that off later. Oh, I can smell it from here. That is disgusting. Whew. If you guys could smell this, I'll tell you what. Horrible. Alright, still draining. Um, I think it takes about 1.4. I read somewhere online. Um, yeah, so going by the bottle, or the container, it's got the old markings on there. It's about 1.4 ish now. I'm just gonna spray some degreaser through the fill holder, get this shit pumping faster. Clean out any bad shit. Oh man. Horrible stuff. Oops. 
All right, I'm gonna keep playing around with this and then bring you back in when I gotta fill it up. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Um, don't have a gasket either, so a gasket. Uh, bloody washer of any type, so I just made one out of the gasket paper. So I'm pretty sure it should have it. Um, yeah, so I've got that hooked up there with the hose, and then I've got, I don't know if you can see it, I'm laying down, the funnel taped to the side of the car. So, I'm going to leave you guys down here to watch. And I'm going to go fill it up, and just feel that, just starts leaking. Oh. Off, so you have to keep watching it's... Oh, Phil, it took uh, uh, 0.5, one point, almost 1.6 litres, which I think is what it is, 1.6 litres, yeah. So, it took a little bit less because there's always a little bit left over. Um, so I've just taped up where it says do not tow and I'm just going to give it a quick little wire brush under here and just spray some black around, make it look nice. Yeah, alright. Alright guys, it's not the, not the best, but it's better than it was. I even clean those up and the tags and sprayed them. Different colour. So yeah, taped over those, or oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, looks better, that's for sure. Oh, the red, so good. Yeah, don't worry about the front. All right, um, I think I'm going to drain the gearbox now. I'll have to jack the front up a bit more. Yeah, see if I can fit in there. Well, I didn't do the gearbox yet. I decided to check the brakes, see if I'm getting floored to all corners. Uh, got into the rear first. This one took a little bit of pumping. Must have been something blocked in there. And it squirted out everywhere, so I've washed it down with water. Water neutralizes brake fluid. Um, not getting into the drive side. So I'm just going to take the cover off the ABS unit and check, crack the line here and see if it's um, getting to the line at least. So I know it's just blocked here. Then I can undo it both sides and maybe blow some air through again. Ah, cars mate. Yep, not getting fluid through the ABS unit. Where are we here? It's clean. Alright, um, 
I'm getting it here. I know that because of that. Um, what do I do? Uh, I get a, a complete air through it into the bloody reservoir in the engine bay. I might pump the f uh, pedal and see if it squirts out here. Maybe it just won't go if there's a blockage in the line. There's not even any evidence of it. Nothing's wet. Alright, I'll see what happens. So, disconnected everywhere from the reservoir to down here. It was free. From there to here. It was free, and then couldn't get the airline in here, but from that way, blowing the air, it would shoot out here. Hook it up, and it went pump fluid into here. So I don't know what's going on. Still on my head in now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hook the line back up here, and just pump the shit out of it and see if it makes it over there. I don't understand what's going on. And this line isn't blocked from there to the driver's caliper. Blue air through there, it's clear. It's all clear. Gets to here. You can blow air through here. Then you can't pump fluid through here. So, I don't get it. And this caliper's getting fluid. It runs in the same line from the front. It splits in here, obviously. And whatever's in here where it splits somehow blocking the fluid from going through even though I can push air through so yeah all right well yeah hook it up and <clears throat> see what happens ah <sighs> sorry this episode's turned to a breaks again um I've narrowed it down I can blow air that way comes out here shoots all over here but I can't blow air through there to come out there I don't understand yeah probably Bent my gun to get the angle right. And just, just comes back out this way. We go down here. Comes out. So is there some sort of a check valve in there? I don't know how these work. What I might do is hook the battery up and see if it does need to get some power to turn an actuator inside or open something up. I don't know. Don't know. All right, I'm gonna put it back together and hook the battery up. All right, it defeated me. ABS unit is out, and same deal. All the same crap. So, hey, pull it out here. That's the bottom one. That it wouldn't the fluid wouldn't flow out of. So it comes out these two. You can't see. You can see the shit come out of there, but you couldn't see that. Just take my word for it. Um, the other way, it won't come out of this way. You blow on this one, and you blow on this one, and they both only want to come out of each other. They won't come out this way. So this is the in. The inlet from the reservoir. So that's everything. Um, you blow through any of these other holes and it shoots back out here. Same as this one will shoot back out here. If you blow in here, it shoots out all of them except for that one. So I don't I don't get it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to how's it look? Yeah. I have to take this bracket off and undo all these little bolts. Hmm. Yeah, well, if it's fucked, it's fucked. Can't make it any worse, right? Well, I don't. I'm not sure if this is even going to work anyway. It did come out with a brake fail when I unplugged it. I plugged it back in, it went away. But look, rust on here. Oh, I think I might just have to get another one anyway. They're good. So how do we get into the other side? I 
Are they bladers? Are you kidding me? The little bleeders. Maybe that's all I needed to do. Oh, I hate my life. So, just took it out. It's, um, yellow crap all over them. Yeah, maybe there's a blockage inside. That's blocked anyway. Brake fluid is disgusting. Alright, now it's unblocked. Ah, oh, keep digging. I don't know. How do you get these out? Twist ons? <laughs> Alright. Look at the crap in here. That one looks blocked completely. Um, blow them out, I guess. I'm assuming they're gonna shoot out the holes. I'm guessing with these, it's um, one's front, one's back. There's a spring in there. I think there's a magnet, or something like that. <sighs> yeah, it took the bit off. Um. This is the bearing that was in there. It's all rusted and outside. Um, pretty rusty and crusty in there too. And maybe I'll show you a bit. Spins, but it's real rough. But you know, might see a clean up. Oh, I'm not sure. I should keep digging. What's the point? I still don't understand why it's not flowing out that. Yeah, this one. How do you even get in there anymore? That's everything I'm done except for like, like side grub screws and that, but the thing doesn't split apart. That's one piece. Oh god. What did I got myself into? Guess nuts blocked. Well, I'll keep cleaning it up and put it back together and see if it works. Looks better. Don't know if it's going to do anything. Um, free up that so it moves quicker, uh, better and smoother. I blew out all the bearings, the roller bearings and heaps of crap was coming out but now it's all smooth. That's just covered in some lithium grease. And I'm going to put the same in here, some grease, put it in there. Clean this section up. There's bearings in there too. I wonder if I can pull that out. I'll clean all the surface up anyway and put it back together and see what else I can clean up on it. Remember really these stupid things. Just went to move this, realize it goes up and down. Well, it moved more than that a second ago. Yeah, make, yeah clean this up then. Um, I clean those ones up a little bit, whatever. All the terminals are actually clean, so if they're working, then they're working. I'm guessing Bendix and Ford didn't care for what he gets in here. I realize there's two little holes there. Maybe they don't seal anything. No bolts go on there. And it's not like there's a rubber seal, so. Whatever, keep on going. So, this is the part where it won't go through. Open it up, look at this. So, if that's all it was this whole time. <sighs> uh. Alright, I'll clean this up and see what it is. This might be a check valve. Yeah, they're just little filters. I took the rest of them out, they're all clean. This one was blocked, but I've obviously ripped a hole in it. Whatever. 
Um, that's not the problem. I still can't get it uh, air back through the other way. <sighs> I don't know. Wasting my time with this. I have to go get another one. All right, guys. Here it is. Almost finished product, but not quite finished. Um, a lot of off camera. I had my dad here helping. He just went inside. Yeah. New reservoir, coolant's in, the original, not the original radio, the one I got from Upullet, and the thermo fans I got today from Upullet, a um, couple of new pipes, and the rest of the original ones, which were still fine, just had to clean them out. Um, I should have been at this stage on Saturday, but I had a, had a run around with those, that aftermarket radiator, and thermo fans I was telling you about, uh, the guides every day, different excuse, different things happening, um, even got to the point where his family member was going to drop him off and then couldn't find the address even though they had my address, so I don't know, didn't know how to put it in Google or something, I'm not sure, but yeah, this is where we're at, I've even, yeah, polished up the wheels just by hand and put them on. They look all right. Not too bad. Um, yeah, body still how it is. This is the worst one. Looks like that's where it was sitting in water or something. <laughs> Didn't notice that until I've stepped back now. And yeah, pretty good. All right, so yeah, like I said, I will just edit it and upload it tonight. Um, it's I don't even know eight o'clock or something. But yeah, should have been a lot further along. But yeah, had like four days of stuff around waiting for these parts that never arrived, which puts me to the point I still haven't done the fine tune by bridging the pins on the uh, diagnostic plug. I know how to do it. And I still got to wire up the thermo fan switch. Uh, this is the uh, Davies Craig one. Got the same one in the XD. Good, no problems. Yeah. So, pretty happy. Filled the coolant up, no leaks. Now, with the brakes as well. All the cylinders work except for this one. It does work, but it doesn't get past the ABS unit. Which, after doing some research, you need some forward scan tool to do it, to bleed the ABS unit. You have to plug it in and run the cycle so it opens up the valves inside. Then you can bleed it, then I'll get coolant to the drivers. But the rest work, the brake pedal goes stiff, so that's good enough to drive to get to a brake place to do it. But for now, that's as far as I can get. Yeah, all right guys, well, yeah, slow progress, but in the next episode I'll definitely be, um, Wiring up the thermos and uh, firing it up and going through the process of tuning it. Um, yeah, a bit sweaty. Hot today here in Adelaide. Hotter tomorrow. Like 33 or something. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Sorry, didn't get as far as I wanted, but... <sighs> That's cars. But we're almost there. Getting excited. Alright guys, if you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't and share with your friends. I'll see you next time here on Scrap Motor Garage.